I've, I've just been delivering a lot of like bad free speech news recently. Yeah, so let's, let's have a wee funny story and one that I don't really understand. But okay. The Royals recall the Duke of Edinburgh's mustard joke. Uh, the Duke of Cambridge has revealed that one of the Duke of Edinburgh's favourite games was getting his grandchildren to squirt mustard all over the ceiling. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know why is that a thing. I don't. I don't know why it's a thing. Apparently, you know. Do you know it would be really funny? You took this mustard and squirted it on the ceiling. <laughs> Let me tell you my top ten racist comments. It's like that would be. A, that's a video I have considered. He has. He has said some spicy things in the past. Um, he used to take the lid off uh, the tube and put it in your hands. And then he'd squish your hands together, fire mustard onto the ceiling. Her Majesty was not amused. Why? I don't understand this. Um, he used to get in a lot of trouble from my grandmother, Prince William recalls, in a forthcoming BBC One documentary to be aired on Wednesday. Prince Philip, the royal family remembers, features all four of the Queen and Prince Philip's children, along with... <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully not all of them, uh, <laughs> along, along with their adult grandchildren and members of the Duke's long-serving staff. Zara Tindall and Peter Phillips, children of the Princess Royal, also reminisce about the Duke's antics with the mustard suit at it several times in front of several different people. Uh, he gets you to hold it in your hands, and I can't remember exactly what he says, but he ends up slamming your hands together and it goes all over the ceiling. It says, Miss Tyndall, I actually think the marks are still there, but yeah, you're not getting mustard out of your paint. You are not getting mustard out of your paint. I don't know why, just man woke up and chose violence. He enjoyed those jokes. He jumped messing around the children and being a grandfather, says Prince William. Uh, one of his sons enjoys that too. Um, uh, hmm, uh, <laughs> who remembers the Duke who died in April, aged 99, as the heart of the family. Uh, the light-hearted revelation is one of a number of uh, poignant and amusing insights in the documentary, originally conceived as a personal portrait to mark Prince Philip's 100th birthday, which didn't happen, by the way, uh, <laughs> with much of the footage shot before his death. Well, I would hope it wouldn't be after it. That that would be that would be, that would be a that would be a very abysmal uh, documentary. It'd be quite sad. Uh, he made time for all of us. He supported all of us, and he kept control of most of us. Uh, laughs, Mister Phillips. Mister Phillips also recalls the Duke's frustration as he got to grips with a new gadget, often denouncing the offending machines as bloody stupid in loud tones, overheard from the breakfast room. I have memories of him getting a new laptop or a new printer and hearing him shouting at it, says Mr. Phillips. He, lo he loved technology, but it was always quite entertaining to see him trying to figure them out. The documentary makers were given special access to the Queen's private cinefilm collection, which shows the royal family enjoying ordinary family events such as barbecuing in Balmoral and riding bikes around the garden. Hopefully not the video collection of, you know, the... The other guy in the royal family. Hopefully not him. I wonder how many of these jokes I can get in this video. Uh, every barbecue that I've ever been on, the Duke of Edinburgh has been there cooking, says Prince William, over footage of a family picnic. Man liked to grill. Man liked to grill. He adored barbecuing, says Prince Charles, adding with a smile, he turned that into an interesting art form. Both Prince William and his brother, the Duke of Sussex, said the Queen and the Duke looked forward to unexpected events while carrying out their official duties together. My grandfather loved things when they go wrong, says Prince William. They've lived a life uh, where everything has to go right the whole time, and so when things go wrong, they both chuckle an awful lot. Everyone else gets mortally embarrassed. They love it. More than anything, I miss his humour, says Prince Harry. Uh, I miss it too. <laughs> if you look at some of the things the man said, uh, yeah, I miss it too. Um, but I miss him more for my grandmother because I know how incredibly strong she was with him there. I also know that she's going to be okay without him, he adds. Like, 
You know what? I might just do that with my daughter. I might just go like, Sadie, here, put this put this tube of mustard in your hands and then just go bump up onto the ceiling and then Sue will just kick me out the fucking house. Like, I don't know, but I don't understand like that. Like, a part of me can sort of see how that's funny because the kid would find it fucking hilarious and everyone else would go fucking mental because she's just squatting mustard on the ceiling. You know what? Wait, I get it now. I now get why it's funny. The kid has a great laugh and gets to do something fun and destructive that they would never usually be able to get to do. And everyone else gets made absolutely furious and you get to laugh at them. Right, okay, I, ch I, I changed my mind. I get the joke now. <laughs>